on the outside of row number one for this race at the Rotax US Trophy Finals at uh, the wonderful Newcastle Motorsport Park. Davin Roberts claimed his first ticket with two corners to go with an absolute peach of a passing move. So here we go. Jacob Ashcroft will start from pole with North Carolina's Darren Roberts on the outside of row number one. Row number two, Eason Seng and Hamish Campbell. Chinese Taipei and the island of Taiwan and Australia on row two. Teich van Weyck, Teich van Weyck and Matthias Kjellerup are on row three. Jeremy Roivers and Pedro Alves de Lima on row four. Fernando Paimare and Connor Clancy go from row number five. Ryan Borguignon and Noah Janssen start from row six. Atia Mark Kalapax and Lewis Goff on row seven. Panu uh, Steen Kong and Michael Saltis are next up with Teish Stevens and Alex Rogowski next. Gabriel Benecci and Patrick Mikalik round up your top 20. Simba Matoda and Luke Hill from South Africa on row 11. Toby Gale and Seung Soo Park from South Korea are next. Francisco Figueroa and Cole Medeiros from Canada. Then it is Colombia's Luis Alejandro Umana Sanchez and Arafat Sheikh, followed by Miro Leskinen and Salvador Ricci. That's your top 30. <coughs> Federico uh, Celales Prieto and Antonio Macedo with Ty Fisher, George Pavlovic, uh, William Corey, and Tom Strella starting at the back. They come into the tram lines and lights are not out. We yeah. will go around again, which gives, I mean, the formation looked bad at the back, didn't it? Which was good news for, Ty, for your brother Ty, because if you start at the back, well, you're starting at the back, do you want to be right there in one big group, or would you rather be a little bit further back and take the start at a faster speed? You've got a little bit more room to avoid any incidents. How would you prefer that? For sure, from my experience, I do like to leave a little bit of the gap. So when you see that green light, you can just, you know, smash on the gas right away. and You can make up a few passes around, yep. you know, inside, outside, kind of wherever you see some, some open room on the track. Yeah, so we'll start again. I have to say, it's great looking at the, the, the camera shots with the, the, the shows, the spectators, and the family members, and the mechanics, because there are a lot of people here. You know, there's, imagine, 400 drivers, 400 mechanics. You know, there's probably the best part of 4,000 people in and around this area, isn't there? Yeah, quite a few people. You know, you got all the parents, siblings too. You know, some people bring out their coaches. And also, we're speaking to a few people uh, in the hotel that we're in, and they say this is a big e this is a big event for this area. You know, there have been spectators here that have come. You know, the people at the welcome party that were just yeah, they came along, and there are people here that aren't involved in sport. They just heard about it. And they're watching. Yeah, they want to come join the party. They want to see, you know, what karting's all about. I mean, it's an amazing, oh, amazing event. Oh, well, Jacob event, Ashcroft so there, yeah. being a little bit, um, you know, uh, demonstrative. Davin Roberts is just, he's just a chill. <laughs> he's just ready to go. Jav Davin <laughs> as what he is. Lights are out. We're off and racing. Ashcroft into turn number one and wheel-to-wheel uh, -wheel contact back in the middle of the pack there but they all managed to stay straight and uh, Ashcroft has the lead. Roberts into P2. Davin Roberts, that p since he's got his ticket, Davin Roberts has been a different driver. He has been, you know, it's, he's been pumped up and it's given him such a huge boost. And he suddenly finds himself behind, directly behind the driver who's finished on the podium in the grand finals twice in his career. And he's only in juniors now. Uh, out of turn number seven. Good start all round. Uh, keep an eye uh, on Ty Fisher. Uh, right, hang on a second. Ty Fisher. Uh, is still, well, he's up three places, I think. That's not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, if Davin Roberts, he's still probably one of the young, on the younger side of the junior yeah. drivers. So Davin Roberts is a month young, is a month older than 
um, the uh, Clyde Clark. Right, right. Yeah. So uh, that was how we found out. But as we complete lap number one, Jeremy Rivers up into P2. So you like the Spanish colours? Uh, there are the Spanish colours in there. So Rivers, this is his first uh, ticket to the grand finals. He's the son of Campios uh, Karting, Campios circuit owner Martin Rivers. And... Uh, Camp, circuit uh, can't say that can't be as the long time home of the Rotax Winter Cup. Not next year for some unearthly reason. I have no idea why, because it's a fantastic venue. Uh, Camp Rovers is giving it to Jacob Ashcroft. Uh, it's bringing Tish Van Vyck, Roberts, and Eason Tseng. Another driver who's done some racing in the United States as Eason Tseng. Yep, yep. Yeah, you can see Jacob Ashcroft getting a little bit of a gap there as they battle on a little further back, but. Yeah, because Tish van Vyck up the inside of Rovers. And uh, so you can see the difference in height in right. the drivers between, say, Rovers and Roberts. Even though Jeremy Rovers is a year older than Danny Roberts, you know, what does... Okay, so your you know, tie is to an average height. You're a little bit on the short side for, like, a senior driver. Right. How do you use that to your advantage? Definitely um, in the in the wet, you know, in the rain, I think Davin Roberts has an advantage being, you know, having that extra height, having that extra body weight to be able to lean, you know, on the curbs where, it, like, the grip is, where the grip isn't, for sure. Now, uh, one of the great features of having our new broadcast partners, Alpha Live, is that we can actually go and speak to Davin Roberts' dad, Nathan, right now. Kyle Lawrence, take it away. Nathan, your boy's in the top four. Down. I managed to grab Mr. Roberts here. He's busy watching his son. We were up in the front, dropped down to fourth. Mr. Roberts, how are you feeling right now? What's going on? What do you more do you need him to do? I just need him to maintain spot. He was purple that last section. Uh, he keeps leaving the door open. He's got to keep it closed so he can maintain track position. Yeah, start moving back forward. Yeah, going to the outside isn't helping him. He needs to move forward, not go backwards. Are you seeing anything that you can uh, work on for the next race? Uh, just car placement with competition behind us. Just got to make sure we uh, maintain what we got. All right, awesome. We'll let you get back to it. Yes, sir. Well, there's Nathan Roberts. Nathan used to work for a couple of NASCAR Cup Series teams. I think Roush Racing used to work for Richard Childress. He, he, he knows how to get it done, put it that way. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, but he's right in what you're saying. Car placement, you know, that's something that, you know, you only really learn in a race, isn't it? Right, yeah, for sure. You know, where you, where you put your... Where you decide to, you know, dive it in and make a pass is very important because you never know. Now, Tish van Vyck in the meantime has taken over the race lead from Jacob Ashcroft. Jeremy Roivers uh, is third, and that is oh, that's the what the, was that that pulling wide there? Possibly uh, Lewis Goff. Jacob Ashcroft has fallen back to ninth position, so I'm not quite sure where Ashcroft is. In fact, it was Ashcroft in the two four six. Uh, going backwards, Davin Roberts is back up to third, Van Vyck and Roivers battling, so you can see Jeremy Roivers trying to tell Tish Van Vyck, work with me. Right, yeah, of course, they want to, you know, just work together, try to get just some clean driving, you can see some of the drivers defending already somewhat early in the race, I mean, still three laps to go. And already, you know, Davin Roberts is back to third, they've caught up at the start of this lap, the top two had a 10 cart length lead. Now we're going up towards turn number seven. Roberts, Seng, and uh, Paimiri, uh, Paimare, rather, is the, right there. In fact, there goes Estonia's number 262, uh, 272, rather, Fernando uh, Paimare. And we'll get that right, Paimre. Uh, he is there and moving up to the inside. Goff, Janssen, Ashcroft, Kellerup, Borgignon, Saltis, etc. are next. Yeah, you see a lot of the drivers outside, inside. This track is very wide, which allows for them to, you know, kind of place their carts kind of all over the track to try to see what works. But Yes, but of course. Now, Roberts is back into P2. You can see him hunkering down behind the NASA panel, can't you? That's just trying to create maximum aerodynamic efficiency. This is great stuff. How badly do you want to be in the middle of that pack right now? Oh, Orton? it's so hard to watch. You know, I'm so supportive. You know, I'm happy Ty's here, but I just want to be out on the track racing. Now, Ty has gained 11 positions up to 20 seconds. Have you been trying to keep an eye on him? Yeah, I've been trying to see how he's doing. I mean, the more you, the more you move up, the better. But, yeah. 
Yes, hopefully yep. if he can finish in the top 20. What well, he's really gaining good. ground. Now, of course, there is a Jacob Ashcroft third cart in line. The 266 cart, Jeremy Roivers, has also fallen back a little bit. So Lewis Goff is now up into fourth place. There's Roivers side by side with Seng. That's Paimare in the 272 cart. So, and uh, Tishvan Vaik. So, they're going to be starting lap number six out of seven. Two tall drivers, Van Vyck and Roberts, have got this one to themselves. But look at Goff and Ashcroft closing in. Yeah, you see as Van Vyck is, is blocking, the other drivers are catching back up. They may have a gap for a few corners, but now look at them all together. And Roberts gets freight train by no fault of his own because the two British drivers had a huge speed differential with the slipstream effect. That was incredible uh, from uh, Lewis Goff and, and Jacob Ashcroft. But Van Vyck still leads, and now... We've got a 2-4-6 cart battle. Paimre, uh, uh, Roivers, Seng and Hamish Campbell are there as well. Janssen and Bourguignon. Yeah, all the drivers just trying to find ground, getting their elbows out. You see about, what is that, 10 drivers all fighting up there? Yep, last lap in it we are, right in the mix. Hamish Campbell from Australia in six. Couple of drivers at the back. You can quite see where they are. Two corners to go. Tishwan Vike has the advantage. Lewis Goff is second. Uh, Ashcroft is fourth. Roberts is fifth. And I can't see oh. who's third. Two drivers up in the background. And check it flag, Tish Van Vyck, who didn't, oh, it was Eason Seng. Eason Seng is standing next to his cart. Oh, what a... Disappointing. That yeah, is cruel. For sure. He had driven so, so well. Especially coming out of that last corner to just... It looked like he took the curb and got a little too much. You know, those curbs are quite steep, so. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, we can maybe have a little look back at the last corner uh, right. in a moment, if we can. There is the forlorn figure. Now, let's talk us through what you're seeing. Well, look how you mentioned about curbs. Yeah, I see he kind of hit, clipped the, the first part of the curb, and that just sent the card, as you see both of them just drift and, off into the grass. And, and on the outside, you know, the driver on the outside uh, literally couldn't do anything about that whatsoever. I'm um, trying to see uh, who that was on the outside line. I think that was Mateus Kjellerup or Toby Gale, who were on the outside there and just, you know, had yeah. no let's go. But you mix them all that. Uh, Ty, your brother Ty, P15. Wow, that's pretty well from, you know, what is what did he start, 32nd, I believe? 32nd, yeah. yes. It yeah, uh, so shows it can be done. It so, can be done. So, Tish Van Vyck, Lewis Goff, and Fernando Paimre. Uh, the Netherlands, UK, Estonia, the top three. Jacob Ashcroft, David Roberts. Uh, that's the first time in grand final history we have spoken to a dad during a kart race. Um, I... So glad that Nathan Roberts does not use cuss words <laughs> because most dads do. Oh, I know, mine sure does. <laughs> um, looking back there, uh, names to look out for: T. Stevens, only 14th. Uh, further, further back in the pack, you can see the results there. Um, Autumn, you're coming back to do all the Junior Road Tax races this week. Is that all right? You know. Oh yeah, I mean this the first one was a little bit nerve wracking, but it's it's really cool to be up here, you know, talking with you, seeing all the drivers, you know, racing down there. It's a great view and it's really fun to talk about it. Yeah, and you know, you can sort of like go go back and um, you, you don't have to stand. So when if you were racing, you'd be watching with your parents, uh, your mum and dad, having to deal with mum getting really nervous and dad getting really angry or, oh, or vice definitely. versa. Mom's definitely really nervous, probably more nervous than my brother down there. Dad's just, you know, holding his breath, praying on <laughs> his his greatness, hopefully. Okay, thank you very much, Autumn Fisher. We're going to go take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back to speak to some of the contenders from that last junior race next.